Hello students. We are discussing about the different crops cultivated in Assam. In the last class, I was discuss about the rice crop of Assam, which is the main staple crop, main food crop in all over Assam. <coughs> But in, uh, in this class, today's class, I will discuss about the tea cultivation of Assam. <coughs> you know, tea is the main uh, cash crop or commercial crop of Assam. Lots of contribution for the development of our state economy. That means. Uh, the tea crops or tea uh, tea cultivation contributes lots of foreign currencies to our state's economy. Do you know who was discovered tea in Assam? Tea was discovered in Assam by a British adventurist whose name was Robert Lewis. Actually, he was living in Scotland. Scotland is another part of uh, UK, United Kingdom, that is British Island. In 1800, 23. This British adventurist first discovered tea in Assam. And Moniram Dewan, who was the first tea planter in Assam. Robert Bruce give gave lots of formalities to cultivate tea in Assam uh, and first tea company was established in 1838 which is known as which was known as uh, tea company of Assam it is the first tea company in Assam which was established in 1838. So, it is the brief description about the origin of tea in Assam. Tea, you know, Assam is very famous for tea in the world. Mainly there are two types of things we have in Assam. They are one horn rind and tea. These two things we are popular in all around the world. Tea is mainly cultivated in Upper Brahmaputra Valley, Barak Valley, and in the hilly and plateau region of Assam. Tea is cultivated generally, tea generally cultivated in a suitable natural environmental condition. It is not cultivated in artificial environment. Suppose Rice is the main crop of Assam, but lots of rice come from Punjab, which is cultivated artificially. This artificial environment is not suitable for tea cultivation. Only nasal cultivation is required, which we have found all around the environmental condition of Assam. Tea is mainly famous for Upper Brahmaputra Valley, mainly 
Dibrugar, Tinsukia, Sipsagor, Churhat, and Kulaka district. These, these are the important uh, tea producing, leading tea producing district in Assam. Highest number of tea gardens found in Tinsukia district. There, there are nearly about uh, 1,000 large tea gardens found in Assam. The largest tea garden of Asia is found in Bishonat Sariya, which is known as Monabari, Monabari Tea Step. It is the largest tea garden of Asia. Another important thing is that one research institute, tea research institute located in Jorhat district, which is known as Tokulai Tea Research Institute. It is the largest tea research institute uh, in Asia. So highest number of uh, tea producing in our state. Nearly 55% of the total tea production of India is generally coming from our state, that is Assam. More than 55% tea production of India is coming from our state. And you see, uh, the natural condition which we have found generally in Assam, that is high rainfall, high temperature, and high humidity. These are the main character required for tea cultivation. Tea cultivation is generally found in uh, tropical and equatorial region. World highest producing country is uh, presently Sri Lanka. Next is India. And where most of the production of India is coming from Assam. Very interesting. Uh, now you see What type of natural conditions required for tea cultivation? That is why Assam is famous for tea production in the world. Because of its natural environmental condition. Tea is generally grown in those areas where rainfall occurs abundantly where not less than uh, 150 cm rainfall anyway. And there is no more upper limit of rainfall. Because equatorial region is presently produce highest amount of tea in, in the world. Mainly Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Indonesia, and other African countries. Other than Assam, lots of other important states of India like West Bengal, uh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Goa, these type of states are also leading in tea production in India. Now you see the rainfall. Rainfall should require generally 150 to 250 centimeter rainfall in <clears throat> And temperature should not 20 degree to 35 degree Celsius. And humidity should be more than 60% in our atmosphere, then we can produce tea.
in those areas where this type of environment is found, rainfall not less than 150 to 250 centimeter, temperature should be 20 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius, and where humidity in the atmosphere should be present, 60 percent of this. This environmental condition, this climatic condition is found in Assam. Therefore, we can produce huge amount of tea in Assam. Another important thing is that soil. What type of soil is generally required for tea cultivation? Tea cultivation is only suitable for those areas where uh, generally sloping or mountainous. But these mountains should not be uh, more than 3000 feet above from sea level. Not more than 3000 feet from sea level. These reasons are suitable. Then generally undulating soil condition is always suitable for tea cultivation. Mainly mountain slopes are very suitable. This type of environment is also available in our state. And there, there is a type of soil. What type of soil is required? It is red soil or you can say uh, lateritic soil. Red soil or lateritic soil where mixing with lots of iron ore. Those soils are suitable uh, for tea cultivation. Assam has lots of this type of red soil or lateritic soil found in Assam mainly in the foothills areas. We can cultivate in the plain region also, but these agricultural gardens should be drained properly to move out the water which are logging over the tea garden areas. In the plain areas it is also suitable if the climatic condition is, uh, this, this mass of climatic condition we have found, then plain region is also suitable for tea cultivation. But proper drain should be there to drain out the water which are, which are uh, logging in the garden areas, in the plain areas. Okay? Next you see uh, there are lots of problems we have found in the tea production. What are those? Main problem is that the transport and communication system of Assam is not well developed to supply labor, to supply chemical fertilizer, to supply our export tea products. So it is one of the important problem of Assam. Another most important problem is our natural calamities. We know that most of the summer season, Assam is affected by heavy flood, which will damage our transport and communication system also. So it is the main burden, main hanger to our, uh, for the development of our tea cultivation or tea industry. Okay? Now you see, India produce, India produce 40 percent, 40 percent of the world tea produced by our country. 40 percent of tea is produced 
by our country in the world. And Assam, Assam produces 20% of tea. 20% of world tea produced by Assam. It is very important. Hmm? Uh, Assam has now more than 700 large tea gardens and there are lots of small tea gardens also found. In the year, from the year uh, 1989, sorry, 1998, from the year 1998, there are lots of small tea growers growing tea in Assam. That means lots of small tea grower association is, was organized after 1998 and these tea also contributed lots of contributed in the tea production of Assam lots of contribution they have for our uh, state sequel another important problem of Assam tea is that The tea companies or tea gardens of Assam generally use high amount of pesticide, weedicide, fungicide, chemical fertilizer, etc. Which may toxic tea in Assam. And we, when we export this type of toxic teas to the other the advanced countries, mainly the European countries, then they will, uh, they generally return this type of toxic teas. So now another evolution is generally coming uh, towards Assam that most of the tea planters of Assam now growing bio tea, where you use only biological uh, fertilizers. No chemical fertilizer or chemical pesticide you we decide are not generally used, which is known as biotin. It is very popular all around the world. And in this biotin, uh, uh, the production is gradually increasing day after day in Assam. Therefore, the state government of Assam or the government of India earns lots of foreign currencies from the exporting of this bio tea. Now different types of teas are growing in Assam also, such as black tea, green tea, uh, bio tea, this type of different teas are growing uh, in Assam. So in future, our tea industry can be developed more if we uh, use different types of scientific methods. Scientific new new technologies are arising, gradually coming to uh, to our tea industries or tea cultivation. So now. This month is enough about your tea cultivation. In the next class, I will discuss about the jute cultivation in Assam. It is another important cash crop of Assam. So these are the main, main crops, rice, tea and jute. Okay, next class, I will continue about this. Jute cultivation of Assam. Thank you.